At the state capitol, the state treasurer controls Nebraska's purse strings, paying the state's bills and keeping track of where the money goes. Republicans could choose one of the youngest people on the ballot this year when they go to the polls. If we're going to keep on electing the same type of people, then we're going to have the same sort of results. And so I believe that will bring a fresh perspective, a new perspective. Taylor Royal burst onto the political stage with a surprising bid for Omaha mayor in 2017. Now the CPA, who spends time crunching numbers for clients, is trying another run for public office as an outsider. I want to make state spending transparent. It's going to be accessible, searchable online. That way we can hold these elected officials, these politicians, uh, accountable for how they're managing our money. To be fair, the state treasurer's office already operates a searchable database of spending, but Royal wants to make it better, and he'd reevaluate the state's management deal with First National Bank of Omaha for the state's college savings plan. We don't stack up well against some of these other states. As a person who's run a small business, I've evaluated contracts and I've evaluated vendors. That's John Moranti, Royal's opponent. The twice-elected Gretna state senator is another young, rising star in the Republican Party, but he says he's the one with experience. We've seen what happens when state treasurers who are uh, inexperienced and don't have a proven record are put into office. Hundreds of thousands of dollars are mismanaged or misplaced. Moranti promises a steady hand and has been busy locking up support from Republicans across the state, including Governor Pete Ricketts. Over a hundred conservative leaders from across the state of Nebraska have united around my campaign and I'm honored to have their support. With Commitment 2018 coverage, David Earl, KETV News Watch 7.